Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Suresh from Mr. Automation channel. Today in this session, I'm going to show you a simple topic in TestNG, but it could be used in many frameworks. And with that topic, you will be knowing the complete uh, TestNG and its behavior. The topic is a data provider. So you all know that why we need a data provider in case if you don't know, uh, do watch this entire session so that you'll understand better way of using the data provider. So in this beginner session, I mean beginning session, I'm going to explain you a simple uh, thing that how you can work with data provider and uh, we will see various ways to implement data provider because everyone has a different approach of using data provider. We'll see all of those topics in this series. So this series is going to be a very interesting to so do stay tuned for all the updates. So let's get started. So let me create a project. I'll go to files, go to new and go to Maven project. For now, I just created a simple project, skip archetype and go next. And I will say this as a data project. Okay. I'm just giving the name as same and let's finish. So this is a project that we are working. So it is about to get generated. I think everything is generated and this is the structure. So here we write about the development code in these two packages, source main Java and source test and source main resources. Major things are going to happen in terms of testing is source test Java and source test resources. So in this source uh, test uh, Java, we're going to write something and uh, here in pom.xml. So we need a couple of things to be done here. So I just use other projects so that it can be easier for us to understand and get the things from that pom.xml. So this I have used for one of the demo session. So here I'm going to use the Selenium package or Selenium dependency and uh, test ng dependency and we need some uh, compiler plugin and sure file plugin so don't worry i will share all these details in the comment section i will pin that comment so that it will be easily easily available for you all to download and uh, install in the maven so i'm just simply copying it so just to reduce the length of the session i'm just copying this all these details because we are not here to talk about the maven all this syntax and everything i just need to save it so you just keep in mind that you need a selenium java you need a test ng that means in terms of maven dependency version and you need a compiler sure file plugin and a sure file plugin and compiler so in case if you're not giving these two plugins then you will see the error when you will see that error whenever you are trying to do a maven build or maven install that time you will see the error so i'm just show you that installation once you click on save i think all the packages will be here in the maven dependencies section so this is all the packages that we have right now we're gonna simply go to the source test java so here i'm gonna simply right click and go to a class so first we need to create a package name so this package is demo data provider right we have data provider and just give the underscore demo data provider right and just we don't need any main method here we just need to create a class name so i will say this as uh, testing underscore data click finish now so we go very basic now we need to understand it's a one of the annotation in the test ng but how you will declare that annotation is more important here so unlike a data provider we also have like test before test after test so similar to that this is also one type of annotation in test ng so if i click on at the rate data and you will see the data provider here and we need to name this data provider Whenever we create a data provider, we need to name that data provider or else it will be a bit confusing which data provider we need to use. So better to give a name for it. So I'm just giving a name here. So this name I will tell as data provider. Right. As I have only one data provider, I'm just mentioning as data provider. And after that, how the syntax of the signature here. So you need to just use the public and uh, this data provider is 
having an object here it will accept an object because uh, it can handle variety types of uh, data that can be integer type float type string type character type so all those can be handled because the object is a parent of all types right so object and uh, this is of two dimensional array so we need to provide this as a two dimensional array 2d array so in the similar manner we need to add it and we need to provide or we need to write the method name so this method name is uh, like i can say that uh, data method i can say you can write any name i'm just mentioning that data as a method name and after that because as we are given a return type as object we need to provide return type here so generally we use a void or string or integer so similar to that we need to provide a return type here so return new we're gonna create a new object as a return type and this is in the form of two dimensional array so i'm just saying as and this the array we need to provide in the curly braces so that we can hold the more data here right so in this i'm just given only two here you can create multiple with that and just for a demo purpose i'm just keeping as two so this i will say as first value and uh, then you have a second value the reason why i am putting this is you will see the console how it going to print and end with semicolon so this is done so our data provider is ready so we need to consume that data provider into our test so how are we gonna consume that data provider so we need to first create a test here so without creating a test you cannot consume that so to create a test you just need to write a test here and this is from test engine annotation and after that we need to create a method so method will be calling a data provider right so similar to that you can mention as data provider and what is the data provider that uh, name that we just given we given the name as data provider so you have to copy the name because you have you might be having many data providers whenever you map the data provider name the data will be filled or fetched from that particular data provider and here i'm gonna simply say public void that's a simple test method right i'm just say test case underscore zero zero one so this i say as zero zero one and uh, after that we need to open the method signature here and as we are consuming data so what type of data that we are consuming so those are uh, string types so i'm just mentioning as string as a parameter here and uh, this is a data as a name for that to hold that string data i just given name as data and now we need to use that parameter or you have to call that data into your test case so you have a login like you have a uh, input as an email and password and you give have a submit button so to get the data to the email address and password you have to correctly map that data so this is the way that you can fetch in the test ng so there is a basic uh, type of data provider we have many in that so we will discuss later on sessions and i'm just simply using a sysout sysout just to see that our data provider is working fine and we can do more in this so i'm just mentioning as uh, values fetched from uh, data provider so what value so as i mentioned like string data so this data is responsible this name called a parameter name called data is responsible to get the data using the data provider annota annotation which is a data provider and that will go into this method and it will get the values from there right i'm just quickly save and right click and run as test ng test right it has executed now you can see we have a uh, values fetched from data provider we just fetched from first again we fetched from second so this is how it will be fetched and you can see here passed there are two passed here one is data provider so first time it has taken first value second time it has taken second value so it says run pass total number of runs is one total number of tests are passed because we are getting the two data here 
right so this is a very basic uh, uh, type of writing data provider so you might be wondering we don't write like this in the framework level so to understand that uh, we have an concept of inherited uh, data type data provider like how you use the inheritance similar to that you can use an inherited uh, data provider so this data provider and this test case methods can uh, be have can be in uh, two different classes i can call using a data provider name and also data provider method so i have a data provider name and data provider class so wherever my class is there like uh, within the package called this is i am testing testing underscore data is one package i'm going to create another package now so just to show you that how inherited data provider works so here i have this one package or uh, one package under that one class i have so i will create one more class here so this class i will say as data provider right data provider and hit finish now in this class i'm just removing this data provider from here so now data provider will be into the other class so you don't need to change anything we just uh, need to work with the implemented method where uh, we are consuming that from the test case so on the test case level we need to modify the, our test so i'm just quickly saving this now so this is the class name and this is a data provider now in the test cases so it is uh, it is not throwing any error but uh, we are consuming the data provider but we need one more method here to add it so that method is we have just given the annotation as test and data provider then that data provider name is this and again now we have a data provider class to be provided so how are we gonna create it so we just need simply call data provider class and now the data provider is in the data provider class so in this class i have that data provider so i just need to copy paste that class name here and click dot and class now we are gonna consume the data which is not here but which is in the another class or you can put it in another package also so that is also will work and now instead of first and second or you can use the same data there is no need to change it so in case if you have any different data you can uh, use that now we have a test here in the test data testing underscore data and a data provider in the other class other class now i just simply right click to this test where i have implemented my test cases so there i am clicking a right click there and just clicking as run as test ng test now you can see in this way also it has fetched the data it has fetched the data from the data provider which is in the other class so from there to here with this method name called a data provider class and using the data provider as a class references it is calling the all the methods from that so how you do an uh, inheritance similar to that it is doing here so this is a two different approaches this is a, a the earlier one which i showed was very basic and this is something that you can start utilizing into the frameworks and we have uh, different ways to implement this data provider so this is the one way so we'll discuss more methods in going forward sessions i hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel if the session is helpful for you do post a like and share with a colleague thank you for watching